In our Real Food series this morning, we're taking a look at the growing trend of vertical farming. The world's population will climb around 7 billion people to nearly 10 billion by 2050. That will make it even more challenging to feed everybody on the planet. Companies like Aero Farms are rethinking how we grow the vegetables by going up to provide fresh and affordable produce. Michelle Miller is at an Aero Farms indoor growing facility in Newark, New Jersey, with the technology behind vertical farming. That's what it's called. Michelle, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Well, this is what vertical farming looks like. Arugula, kale, watercress, all growing indoors, on shelf stacks seven levels high. When it's all said and done, Aero Farm says it can produce 1.7 million pounds of greens every year. This is to scale. This is what we mean by scale. This 70,000 square foot facility housed in a former Newark steel plant. This is 36 feet high. Is CEO David Rosenberg's high. green machine. It produces 130 times more produce than the average field farm of the same size in America per year. But to fully understand this large-scale operation, you've got to go back to its roots, where it all began seven years ago inside Phillips Academy Charter School. Let me finish it off. <laughs> Arrow Farm's prototype was planted in the school's cafeteria as a teaching tool for students to learn the basics of biology, chemistry, and nutrition. Essentially, these kids grow the greens for their school salad bar. I think growing food every day and seeing it, I understand and have a better taste for it and a better understanding for it. You appreciate it more. I appreciate it a lot more. The technology is called aeroponics, which grows the plants on this reusable fabric. Proprietary information. Those are called trade secrets. Yes, I know. <laughs> But as Savannah Love explained it to us, this process needs no soil, no sunlight, and uses less water than conventional farming. We're misting it from underneath, so the water comes up through the sheet and it hits like the seedlings. Hits them with a nutrient-rich solution that allows the plant to take root. These LED lights substitute for the sun. This was probably uh, seeded about three days ago. Rosenberg says vertical farming offers higher yields with less land, less time, and no pesticides. They can farm indoors, in any city, anywhere around the world. From seed to harvest in 16 days, what otherwise takes 30 days in the field. And then we're able to do that 22 times a year versus in the field three times a year because of seasonality. Still, not everyone is sold. Early adopting is not necessarily bad. It's Cornell University researcher Cale Harbick says his studies found indoor farms that rely solely on artificial light are not energy efficient or sustainable. Just because it's possible to grow inside a warehouse doesn't mean it's a good idea, doesn't mean it's cost effective. If you do the math, the energy costs just aren't what they should be. Harbick warns these companies struggle once their seed money runs dry. Case in point, one Chicago-based company recently shut down its growing operations. These are our growing towers. Rosenberg says Aero Farms LEDs that run 24-7 have been tweaked to save energy. He didn't share just how much. Investors believe in it. Aero Farms has raised over $50 million from the likes of Goldman Sachs and Prudential and received more than $9 million in state and local grants. Why would someone want to buy from you as opposed to a field farmer or a greenhouse farmer? Here we're growing in the local community. That's the supply chain difference, but it turns out that we're able to compete on taste and texture. By adjusting those lights and nutrients, Rosenberg says they can also make their arugula more peppery, their kale a little sweeter, which for many of us, parents in particular, might be the biggest selling point of all. Very flavorful. Yes, it is. Goodness. Yeah, um, and you guys like your greens? Yes. You really eat them? Yes. They really do. And Aero Farms has also made a commitment to this community. About 45% of its employees are from the Newark area. They even sell these trays for about $3.99 in local supermarkets here, Margaret. What do you think, Margaret? 
I'll, I'll try it. Yeah, but, uh, I'm vegetarian. Sign me up. I get excited about. I'm thinking kind of peppery arugula. There's not a bad thing wrong with that. Nothing. Mm -hmm. I see the yeah, I see the other side what they're saying, but when you look at all the pros and the cons, the pros seem to outweigh the cons to me on that story. Worth a try, yeah, Michelle. Very nice. Thank you. Cool story there.